with the devastation that Hurricane Andrew had left behind. Yeah, this is just awful. I mean, the storm killed 65 people. It destroyed 63,000 homes and left 175,000 people without a place to live. And Andrew's immediate aftermath, about a million people were without power. And forecasting the path of a hurricane has changed a lot since Hurricane Andrew hit. Yes, yeah, CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Cabrera has more on how technology has improved hurricane forecasting. Hi, everybody. Yeah, absolutely. 30 years, incredible uh, what we've done and how we gather data now, how we process it. It's a completely different world. But let's take you back to 1992. We had one plane that flew basically at 10,000 feet to gather data, brought back to the National Hurricane Center. And we would input it in very limited computers with limited power. All of a sudden, the Calvary has arrived here in 2022. Multiple planes at multiple altitudes, some going on top of the hurricane and then of course, you see these features here. Those are drop sons. They come down out of the plane into the storm, and they're able to gather incredible amounts of data that immediately now come back and get fed into these supercomputers that have sophisticated modeling ability, right? Uh, it has been uh, quite something in the last 30 years, what we can do. And of course, we have all sorts of uh, models that we look at. The actual equipment, the instrument, the satellite goes, right? This is the bird here. It can detect lightning. That's important. It lets us know around the center of circulation or the center of the hurricane. If we have lightning, that is an indication that we could be looking at intensification. But it also brings us back different bands of information that once again are fed into these supercomputers, into the models, so that we can have a more precise forecast, which is obviously the goal for all of us here. Another thing uh, the satellites can do, instead of a wide shot, right, we can focus in on the specific storm so that we can get real good data out of that and in turn, hopefully, a much, much better forecast.